Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. So, the title has not yet been updated, but give it time. Fear not, it will be updated. We're going to get started here. So, I get to play World of Pacific Admirals Edition. Day of Days has finally arrived. It's going to be fun. I'm going to be doing here... Let me go ahead and get this up. Let me make sure everything's working. I've had a terrible uh, spot of luck lately regarding getting streams to actually work. So, I do this works. Okay. So, what are we going to be doing today, Ben? We are going to be playing a rather fun scenario. I'm going to be playing as the actual Japanese forces here. By the way, this is Warren the Pacific Admirals Edition. Gary Grisby's Warren Pacific Admirals Edition. So, if you've never seen it before, you're going to enjoy it. It's going to be fun, I promise you. So, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be playing Operation Downfall. Now, Gary Grisby's Warren the Pacific Admirals Edition is... Uh, by the way, I try and say that three times drunk. It is absolutely fantastic. But you really do want to have, like, a play-by-email opponent, and that's when the game really does shine. However, we unfortunately do not have the, uh... It's one of those things that doesn't work too well with it live. So we will be playing as the downfall. Indeed, yes! Good old Andy Max. So we've got a Vulcan. Hello there, Vulcan. We've got a Marauder. Damn you, Marauder. Marauding around there. So, yes, we're gonna go ahead and play downfall. Nice bit of fun there. It works well enough. We'll be playing against the AI. We'll be playing against the Allied forces, the dreaded ones there. So, Operation Orders are to defend the Emperor. After the defeats in Manchuria, Okinawa, and against the American bombing against the American bombing offensive, many of our cities are in ruins and our defences are seriously weakened. The Emperor has issued instructions that a new government has been formed. The Japanese people will fight until the end, new weapons are trickling from what remains of our industry, and our armies reorganizing. General Yamashita has been uh, has been pulled from Luzon. Uh, this format is fantastic. Has been pulled from Luzon in order to command the most threatened sector, Kyushu. Even in sh even in a short month, his impact has been felt as defenses are strengthened. His one condition, with the full backing of the Emperor, was that all forces on Kyushu must report to him directly. It will be a long and hard fight, but a victory must be achieved. Within a year, we hope the Americans will work out that Japan can never be conquered at this point. A more reasonable peace may be negotiated. Only time will tell if we can achieve this objective. That was really... That's well written, but it's, <laughs> I don't know why the format is like that. Oh dear. Ah, you know, I'm not too... Not entirely sure there. It might be the latest ones. I can remember updating the scenarios a while ago. Possibly not. Probably not. Probably the safer assumption there. Not all that often, but I actually do go ahead and play the... Um, AI scenarios, in fairness. But we'll be fine. I'll go well enough. Okay, so let's take a look at our situation. So, the year is 1945. It is September 1st, 1945. You can see here, the red box uh, denotes the area of the game that we'll be playing here today. I always like to point this out, just to really give people a sense of scale of one in Pacific, is that uh, the yellow box here is my monitor. My monitor isn't especially huge, it's 1920 by 1080 resolution, so 1080p monitor. But that's how big it is, and that's how big, yeah, that's how big we're playing, and that is how big the actual game is. Fantastic. And you're rather surprised, isn't it? It might sound rather surprising, um, <laughs> but indeed. It doesn't feel that big when you're playing. Ah, oh, yeah, I know, I really do like this map mod. There's some other ones out there that I think I might change to. I've been using this one for a while. Ain't that bad. And in mods, category is still set to Astra Exodus. Uh, that'd be helpful. I'm sure somebody will be there around, around uh, in the future to fix it. Right then. Ideally, music is good. I do have a fan on in the background, so ideally that's not too distracting. Unlike Paul Richard in his little rabbit hutch. It doesn't... Uh, I feel bad for him. I don't think he's a fan. Must be so hot up there. <laughs> okay, we'll take a look at the situation then. Right then, so if we take a look. So the Malianas have fallen. The Baldwab has fallen. Truck is obviously still within our control. We do hold on to Wake Island, not that it's any use to us. Yes, the Marsh Islands obviously under American control. We can see that the Allies have Inuatok, well, the Americans have Inuatok. The Philippines has been reconquered. We do have some forces over here in the Philippines. We do have a couple. I mean, that's not too bad, but that's still 558 assault value. Now, in this game, how assault value works is uh, you have the IJ infantry squads here and the IJ HMGs. Now, these guys actually form the teeth, you could call this. That is your offensive value. How are you doing there, Post-Apocalypse? This is Gary Grizzly's War in the Pacific Admiral's Edition. Uh, I don't think the title's updated as of yet, but I'm sure somebody will get around to that. So, let's take a look at the situation. They're in a pretty bad spot there. 
They do have a thousand odd supply, but that's not going to last too long. They're in jungle rough terrain over here. So which uh, so you can see here we have different measures of terrain. Now clear represents that this hex is clear terrain. So when fighting on land, you're going to be fighting. There's no there's no bonuses for the defender. There's no negatives for the uh, aggressor. Uh, over here in the jungle rough, we do have times three defensive terrain, which is great. That means that they're going to be quite nasty to break there. But really, what we're going to try and do here is a breakout. A party over here in the north of Luzon, uh, supposedly seven units. Three units over that way. The difficulty is if we do try to break out from Luzon, how do we get these forces back? That's going to be a problem there. So we do have 10th Division Remnants. The Iraqi force. Or the uh, Iraqi uh, force over here then. Which is not insubstantial. But if we take a look. Uh, 874 tons of supplies. So they don't have a lot of supply. This is how much they require. They'll last for a little while. But if they actually do get into some uh, direct combat. Things are going to be rough. So we do have clear terrain over here. If I take a look and press R to take a look at the roads. So this colour here represents these as secondary roads. So a unit in movement mode would take about four days to march across these roads. Each of these road hexes, each of these hexes are four to six miles. So we'd have to have a good few days of march in there. So it would take four days for us to march across that hex. Uh, this road over here to the south. Now we'd have two days on secondary roads, but then we'd likely have one more day uh, to cross that due to the being major roads. Which is not too bad. I believe on uh, secondary roads, I should have had the manual spare. I'm used to being able to... Can I do it, actually? Can I go up here and take a look? Whoops, not bad. Can I... No. <laughs> There's a really handy screen up the top here of the map, but I can't look at it this moment in time. It's about here, and it actually gives you all the movement speed. I think uh, infantry move about 15 miles per day on secondary roads, but on major roads, they can move up to 30 miles per day. Okay, so at least that's something that we can maybe take a look at. It might be intriguing. We could probably get them possibly out there. Or at least I could try to capture some supply over here. Yeah, the Paris actually got a very large airbase. These are all very large airbases. Bloody hell, they're all very large airbases. <laughs> look, you bloody Americans in their stupendous amounts of resources. Okay. Now, this is it. I'm alright talking about trying to get these guys out of Luzon, but do I even have the capacity to get them out of Luzon? We do have some subchasers over here. However, these guys, uh, they don't look like the type that can actually carry troops. <laughs> even in first transport, no, they're not going to be able to do it. Aircraft-wise, we do have some actual transportation aircraft, so I could potentially fly in supply. Yeah, well, that's it, Evoken, isn't it? This is a taste of the late game. Hey, doing that SCB? Good to have you, my friend. Indeed, good to see you guys. Are hey, you doing that great night? I got you. Okay. We'll take a little one, one sex at a time, but... So we have the Oscar 4. Right, so over here, then. I love seeing the later game models. Like, the Georges are pretty nice. I really do like the George. Yeah. Having four of those 20mm cannons is nice. It's a shame that they're wing-mounted. The C represents that uh, they're actually central mounted. The uh, F represents that they're on the wings, like frontal mounted. Their accuracy is not too bad, though. Yeah, no. And this is if we would be in a better situation than this. That's the good news. Okay. So I do have transportation aircraft over there. We also do have some bombers over here. <laughs> yes, these guys. <laughs> I like these guys. Oh, wow. Well. Are these the um, kamikaze aircraft? They may, they may very well be. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Kamikaze unit. <laughs> I love it. I've never actually got to use the kamikaze unit, so this will be fun. But we'll have them stood down for the time being then. Hey, Dylan and Jack, looks good to have you. Okay. So the Americans do hold Okinawa here. <laughs> yeah, day by day, uh, day by day, this for six years, please. <laughs> I can imagine that strong if they actually hit something. It's an 800 kilogram bomb. That's gonna hurt. Okay. No, it would be quite good to try and get them back to Japan, perhaps. 
Amami Oshima. I said a lot of fuel over there at Amami. There's a decent amount of supply there. We do have a fortress. We do have a naval guard unit in place. Not a full strength one, but one nonetheless. Uh, we lack aviation spot, but that's a problem. So I don't think I'd be able to really look after an aircraft there. I could for a short time, but they're going to break down and get uh, get their fudge packed in. So the British have retaken Singapore. We do hold on to Palembang over here. See, the thing is with Palembang, it really just it just doesn't particularly matter anymore. There's all this fuel here, and I just can't get it to where it needs to be. Oof. I think I heard about that one, actually. Let's see. Right, what am I going to do here then? A good barometer of how things are going in terms of um, resource requirement and resource expenditure in Japan is if you take a look at Tokyo, uh, Tokyo and Osaka, you can, tie, you, can, you can kind of get an idea of how things are going. Because if you're running dry here in Tokyo and Osaka, uh, those are the biggest industrial centers, then you have problems. 139,000 tons of fuel. Uh, it's not too bad. Hundred thousands over here. Let's see. I'm used to having the actual tracker to be able to keep an actual idea. Let's see. Intelligence support. Let's see. Okay. Um, ah, right, there we go. So, saying that we have 3.7 million tons of fuel, obviously that's going to be spread across the entirety of the Japanese sphere of influence. Yeah, unlock the secret powers of Tokyo Bay Fortress. That thing's nasty. That is nasty. Right. So we still have uh, heavy industrial points there. Okay. Not much in the way of vehicle manufacture, but that's a decent amount of points there. Decent amount of points. Okay. Yeah, as you can see there, we have 150,000 in points. Armaments industry. I could turn armaments off. 50k is a pretty decent amount there. Right, let's go ahead and take a look here then. And what we have in the pool. Mines, that's good. Ooh, nice, we've got some mines. I can make use of those guys. Right, not bad. I can make use of that. What I'm going to do here then, actually, can I see the aircraft? That would be a good thing to take a look at. I can try and get a measure of what we have then. So, we have 35, so we do have 566 of those in the pool. That's not too bad. Um, a system 2 k 0 Is that the Kamikaze variant, perhaps? Or a different variant? Ah, oh, the dreaded knight. <laughs> Not that. Right, 156 zeros there. 123 A6 and 5s. Hmm. Okay. What we're doing this for is we can try and get an idea of what we actually have in terms of availability of certain platforms. What I'd like to see then is the uh, key 84, which would be the Frank. Whereabouts is that? Uh, George is good as well. Right, okay. Uh, 120, that's not too bad. Whereabouts the George? George, 75, okay. Yeah. Okay, what I'm going to do here then is, if we go over here to industry, take a look at the air, solve this by type. See, this is it. We could potentially expand the production. It might seem... Uh, over 201. Oh, isn't that the jet that we have? Do we actually have access to the jet? Am I... Is it, it is the... Uh, it is the 201, isn't it? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Two or one. Okay, so we don't have it. Yeah, uh, Toko rocket, uh, turbo jet bear. Right. Oh, right. That's quite handy, actually. 
I was thinking about this. So we have our aircraft for pools then. Go and solve this. Right. Okay, A608, not too bad. Right, okay. So this is a lot of stuff that's going to seem rather boring to people that don't understand why I'm doing this. The reason being we want to know how many aircraft we actually have available because uh, that's going to help to keep us in a fight. Now if we take a look over here in the China event, so we do have the Zingtao KUK-1 squadron over there, which is 75 x 6 5s We do have a decent amount over here in Shanghai. The reason, uh, well, what we're going to do here then is try and assess these actual theatres and really see what we can keep. We do still have control of parts of China, but that's a very, uh, well, does it even matter at this point? We still have Korea at this moment. Okay. So we do have some tankers over here. We do have some uh, shipping. This is only very light shipping. How are our forces actually looking then? So what we're going to do here is take a look at all active ships. Right, okay, not a tremendous amount there. We do have some dice ones though. So they still survive. So we have some over here in Hong Kong, Niigata. Okay, so we have some to actually play with. It's just trying to get them to where we want them to actually be. If I take a look over here then, we do have 230,000 ton, uh, sorry, 230, tons of fuel there. The issue is because this uh, top half of the map is actually cut off. I can't have it just translate over there via rail, as far as I'm aware. Uh, what we could potentially try to do is sneak it into Japan. Possibly moving up to Sing Tao and then across to one of these bases or even try to go across there. Uh, we'll take that into consideration trying to get an idea of how dangerous this area is. I can imagine the American submarines are extremely effective. And they will become an extremely uh, <laughs> aggressive. Right, okay, so I do have far more shipping over here. That's not too bad. I need to try and look after that shipping. Do I have any forces that could actually head back to Japan? Ah, okay. So we do have unrestricted over here. They have no supply currently. 65th Division. Right. Okay. We do have divisions over here that can be transferred. It's not really that the divisions matter all that much. They're a little bit beaten up right now. I need to get them across to Japan. But the question is, does it even matter? With Okinawa there, the Americans have a really fantastic position. I think what we're going to have to do then is really look towards our air defences and see if we can hold out. So at Tsingtao, we actually do have... Now, fuel could transfer over here to Tsingtao. Okay, there's actually a decent amount of fuel there. It might be worthwhile trying to actually evacuate that fuel just where we can, just while we can. Now, supply and fuel should be able to translate across these ports over here. If I could get that to Northern Korea. I could try to get some of that into Japan. There's a port size 3 over there. A uh, Kijo over here, a size 4 port. We have a couple of aircraft over there, not tremendous amounts. Okay, uh, one step at a time then. We'll start down here at Palembang then. What's at Palembang? What's worthwhile saving? What can be saved? Ah, oh, but look at that. That's some amazing endurance. I'm very much liking that. Right, we do have a later game escorts. These guys are fantastic. It's fantastic actually having radars and sharp it means. It's something I just I'm just singularly not used to. We do have Kitagami. She actually has radar, she has a kite, and these guys are fantastic. Look at that penetration. Crazy. I'd love to see that actually hit something. We might be able to get them back. We could potentially have Kitagami operate as um We could try and get something out there. We'd have to figure out where the American actual convoys are. It could be potentially worthwhile to head out this way, but the issue is we see that Bella Papin, and Melinda under uh, medical control. Um, there's nowhere for us to refuel out here. We do have truck. Truck does have fuel. Yes. But there's really nothing I can do about these forces here. It's just, yeah, they're cut off. They're never going to be reaching home. We do have a submarines over here. We do have... These are transportation submarines. These guys are awesome. But they're, they're, they're not. <laughs> but they do come in handy. They only have the 37mm AAAs over here. Which are... Um, they're not really worth their salt. But they can transfer supply, which is not too bad. But the question is, does it even matter? Where am I going to take it? Answer is not really anywhere. Okay. 
What we can try to do then is evacuate the actual submarines that are decent. Uh, possibly just try and evacuate the ships that matter, try and evacuate the actual aircraft that we can, and try and get them the hell out of Palembang, because Palembang's doing is no good right now. Uh, we do have these escorts, these escorts are nice, but the thing is we don't, we're not really going to be moving assets around, not easily. So what I'm going to do here then is try to get the submarines out of the area. Right, you have no aircraft, you do have aircraft. I could operate around Singapore potentially to try and pick up some targets. The I-153 does have some immense range, but what I'll do, she can remain here out, uh, out here a long time. I could base them at Takao. 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 What I'm going to do then is take that there. I'm going to set a patrol pattern. Uh, we'll try and pick up on some shipping around Singapore, really. Possibly around this area. There will be British assets, so we'll try to pick up on those. We do have the other submarine with a float uh, craft, so that actually does give us something to use for eyes, so we can put that to use. Right, so patrol. Yes, the I-58. Uh, what aircraft is she actually using here? Oh, Glenn. Good old reliable Glenn. Okay. I wish uh, we could actually get some replacements in there, some reserves in there. Oh, we have radar too, that's awesome. Okay. Or, uh, I should say sonar. We'll see what we can pick up on. These submarines do have uh, a fantastic amount of range. Have I done that wrong? I have. <laughs> uh, so they can stay out there for a long time. Okay. We could try to evacuate some units over here. We do have elements of the... Well, we have the Imperial Guard Division over here. But that's not going anywhere. Could try to evacuate elements of it. Retaking Singapore isn't going to happen. <laughs> As we have the Provisional Base also over here. Okay, so we do have... Engineers to repair the airfield... 66 engineers is not too bad. I could build fortifications, but we're at level 6 fortifications now. That's pretty insane. I think uh, beyond this point, you need to have a, a well, an absolutely crazy amount of uh, supply here. It's just a shame that we can't get this fuel out. No, sir. Actually, these guys don't have a bad amount of range there. 3k is not too bad. I'm going to try and get them the hell out. We could maybe make use of them. I could try and get them to... Uh, for most and it would be wouldn't it be too bad to actually have them transfer supply to Luzon perhaps and uh, try and prolong their fight I would like to do a tutorial one day but I just don't feel like I know enough about the game to actually do a proper tutorial uh, one day though I think it's one of those things where it'll eventually click one day and you'll feel like yeah I I've got this so it looks like we can't do a straight oh no I can't do a straight to Takao Takao Dreams away. Right, surface combat. Uh, what's the cruise speed? 15. 15, okay. The AA is not bad at all. ASW is actually pretty insane. <laughs> For Japanese standards. Okay. These guys are awesome. I can't wait to get these guys. The only issue is you get these guys <laughs> far too late. Oh dear. If we had them at the start, that'd be amazing. If we had radar, that'd be nice. So many things, so many things we'll never have. Okay, I'm going to have them attempt to escape as well. So head for Takao. Well, in reality, what I'd be better off doing is actually having them head towards uh, Cameron Bay, move up the actual coastline over this way. Uh, we really want to go for home. I could potentially skirt around the coast of Borneo and then up to Cameron Bay, perhaps. Hmm. <laughs> There's a lot of intricacies, and I'm playing a awesome series of play-by-emails. Uh, one against the historical gamer on YouTube, check him out. And uh, Mr. Admiral Dadman on the forums, he's a one Pacific moderator. A superb player, absolutely kicking my ass. But you learn a lot from having your ass kicked. Right, I'm going to head for Takao. Uh, sorry, uh, through Cameron Bay. Right, we do have a repair shipyard over there, if the worst comes to worst, but it doesn't particularly matter, does it? We'll head for Cameron Bay. 
We're now gonna I'm going to have to try and take a roundabout way, but that's not too bad. Let's see, if I did coastal... You no. Right. Get rid of that coastal. That ain't going to happen. No. Uh, but they're probably going the best way they can, really. So I'll let it be. Now, Kitakami. Uh, she's awesome. The destroyers that we have here, the uh, Matsu class. See, this is a class of destroyer I, I've really not had any experience with. Good amount of AA. Maneuver's okay. Pretty good, actually. Uh, four ASW. Eh, it's okay. Uh, let's see. We're six VP. Okay. 12.7 is our dual purpose. Which we had more of them. Uh, the 25s from overboard. Not really even bothered. Uh, not even really worthwhile, to be honest. <laughs> but okay. The issue is it's with their range. Like, uh, they're, they're probably going to be alright against, like, torpedo bombers. Uh, because they can actually shoot at uh, that altitude there. The issue is when it comes to dive bombers, dive bombers approach and they're above that altitude and it's only when they're actually dropping the bombs that they come down to that sort of altitude. Like most dive bombers tend to drop, some dive bombers drop around about 5,000 feet, some drop about 4-ish, uh, possibly lower as well. But usually around about 4,000 feet they'll drop their bombs. So it's like you're, you're the only, <laughs> you're shooting at them as the as the bad man is like throwing a big old brick at you. It, it's kind of too late at that point. Okay. Not a humongous amount of endurance there. Kitakami, why are you so slow? She'll be alright. Right, what we're going to do then instead of a Kamran Bay. I'm not going to have them set to engage right now. I just want to get them the hell out of there. Uh, okay, so that's what we have there from Palambang. I could leave Palambang to burn by taking away. Wow, we have some Helens over here. Helen's, Lily's, yeah, they really don't matter at this point. J1Ns, this is another aircraft I do not often get to see. Well, it's reconnaissance, so that's not too bad. Uses a 35. Range is okay, not bad at all, not bad at all. Okay, so I'll put your naval search. Go 50 50, try and hold on to some of them really. We're gonna go about 6,000 feet. Have them just move out to max. Actually, they do have the. Okay, no, never mind. It's got some really nice range there. Go out on the drop tanks. Get some reserves in there. Okay. Now, you guys are gonna have to remain here. Uh, what is this? The A6M8. I don't have a huge deal of A6M8 though, so maybe it is worth not getting them out of here. The issue is, I don't have fighters everywhere that I'd like them to be. Like, Palambang doesn't really mean much to me right now. But then again, I don't want to have these assets just pummeled into the dust. I've got to try and put up some resistance wherever I can. Uh, so we do... Uh, God, the accuracy is really bad. <laughs> That's not... I mean, it's not, it's not awful. It's not great. Uh, oh, well, it is what it is. Service rating is 1, so that's really nice there. The service rating is, like, how difficult it is to, like, maintain and repair the aircraft. So service rating 1 is, like, awesome. Because you can you can kind of, like, throw them at the wall and they'll be okay. Yeah, how you doing there, warrior? <laughs> I'd update the title myself, but unfortunately I can't. Uh, we'll take a look at ships shortly, actually. That's going to be something that we're moving on to. Probably not uh, tremendous amounts, actually. Right, so 37k altitude is not bad at all. Uh, what I'm going to do here then is we're going to have to try and figure things out as we go on. So we'll have a cap set here then. Uh, morale's low, experience is... Oh yeah, okay, so we have one good pilot, we have a lot of bad pilots. There will probably be good pilots in the pool somewhere. It might be a case of where we just pull them out and form like good squadrons, but we'll go with that for the time being. Uh, so anyhow, what they're going to do is they're going to run Escort over Palambang. They're going to run Cap over Palambang, I should say. Uh, let's go 70-30 then. I'm not entirely sure what altitude the uh, attacks are going to come in at. We do have some AA at Palambang, but it's not exactly fantastic. They could come in high, they could come in low. Uh, let's take a look at the aircraft. So we have Maneuverability 29. Oh, there we go. 20,000 feet. fine then. 
Uh, so 20,000 feet is one where we're actually... Um, yeah, we still have some pretty good... Pretty good flexibility. All right, do I give them reserves? Uh, we'll see how they get on for the time being. Not tremendous amount of time to waste. Let's see. Yes. Like, the zero range is just this hex here. Like, if you had it set to one hex, they'd actually intercept around here. Whereas if they're flying just over the base, they're not they're not really wasting any of their time. They're not flying and they're not gaining additional fatigue, essentially. As far as I'm aware, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Of oh, the Helens, I could make use of the Helens somewhere, perhaps. <sighs> Looking forward to getting the Helens here. Oh, do I have them at three? I thought I had them at zero. Oh, yes, okay. I meant to put that at zero. <laughs> this is why I made the space to this. I think I've done something and I actually haven't done it. And then I forget to check. Right, so we have the Helens over here. Right, these bad boys. Nice. Not too bad. It's about as good as it gets for Japan. They're armoured. Fairly durable. Range isn't fantastic, though. But how could I make use of these guys? They could be used on just, like, naval search sort of thing. Uh, we might be able to launch some sort of, like, small-scale, like, counterattacks, but we'd have to really choose our targets. We could have them, um, maintained in interior airfields. Hmm. Let's see, what do we have here in Thailand? So we have some Georges here. Love the George. Yeah, that's nice. Decent amount of cannon. Wish they were central mounted, but not too bad. Her speed, 240 cruise, 380 max, not bad. What's the max altitude there? 39. Climb rate's good too, 27. That makes a difference. We have some Oscars here. But what is it? God, there's a lot of fuel supply around in these bases here. Oh, hello. Okay, so we actually have a good number of actual aviation battalions here. We have an air division. Okay. Third air division. <laughs> like, okay. Uh, so, command headquarters like this. So this is the third air division. Now, this is an air HQ. You can see it has a command radius of four. Now, what that means is this base and all bases within four hex radius. So that includes Saigon. Uh, not bad base, but all these bases over here within four hex radius of that headquarters. Uh, any bomber squadron that could use torpedoes would be able to use torpedoes. But they're also great. They have, like, a lot of, um, let's see. Yeah, they have the aviation support, and we also have support here as well. They're good all round. They are handy. You can also use them. This one can't be used, but you do have command headquarters, and they actually can help to affect uh, battles. But headquarters actually do help to have uh, squadrons, like, act cohesively together. It, it helps. It just It's just things go a lot smoother when you actually have, like, a proper headquarters in the area. Is it doing me any good here? Not really. Uh, at least not right now. We'll keep you in combat mode, actually, for the time being. I could use transport aircraft and move it around. Ooh, we have some dealers over here. These guys are great. Oh, look at that. Sexy. Yep, these guys are nice. What we're going to have to do, then, is we're going to have to essentially set up naval search across the Empire. Uh, at least what remains of the Empire. Try and figure out where the enemy is. That's going to be very helpful for us. Uh, we do have the Kai-67 uh, Peggy over here. These guys can use torpedoes. So, what I can do here then is... We'll go into the 3rd Air Division. And I'll give you some torpedoes. I promise you guys we will see a turn resolution here in the near future. Indeed, enemy is everywhere. Situation critical. Activate the mecha. Alright. There we go. Uh, Philippines and Mariana's highest concentration. Yeah, I'd love to get to the shipping at Okinawa. I'd love to get to that invasion shipping. That'd be nice. Right, there we go. So, the Peggy now has the ability to use torpedoes. You can see that it's now yellow, indicated it can use the torpedoes. Uh, yeah, the night bombers, that's going to be something to take into consideration as well, in fact. That is going to be rough. Right, uh, so we have the Type 91 torpedo. Decently speedy. Armoured is nice. Okay. Range? Uh, what's our normal range? Uh, so 14, not very long range there. 
they have 100 attack bombs that can armor. Yeah. It's going to be fun. So we do have a decent amount of these in the pool. <laughs> Trying to attack him once in this scenario. <laughs> I can imagine how that went. Okay. So let's see, Ben. We do have some G3Ms. Uh, G3M3s. These guys are much better naval bombers. Uh, I believe they have their radar actually activated at this point here. But they're unarmored. They were good earlier in the war. Got hundreds of bombs planted into my task force. <laughs> I can imagine. Right, what do we have here? Then the KI, uh, so the Key 21 2A. Uh, much familiar with this aircraft. Right. This is a Peggy here as well. Or is that the same Peggy? That is the same Peggy. Right, I do have some transportation aircraft. That's good to work with. Okay. Let's see. Saigon. Range 4, range 3, range 3. It's range 6, range 3, range 4. Okay, we're going to have the 3rd Air Headquarters actually translated to Saigon. The reason being it's more centrally located, it allows me to make use of more um, airfields to use torpedoes. So we'll go ahead and pick that up. So what I'm going to do here then is click this base, I can't, our oh, compound. Uh, what I'm going to do then is change this to pick up. We're going to pick up the third air. Yes, there we go. Pick up the third air division. And I'll bring them over here to Saigon. So what I'm going to do is have all transports do that. That'd be great. So what we'll do then is we do have the G3Ms. These guys are nice, this sort of thing. Pilots, uh, pilots pretty good. Naval search, not so good. Naval uh, top it up, pretty good. Okay. Interesting, I don't have the option for the naval search anymore. <laughs> What's happened to you? Oh, my g freeze! what did they do to you? Okay, right, that makes things a little bit more awkward. Oh, it's because they're on nine operations, that's why. <laughs> I was thinking, wait a minute. Right, so we have naval search there. Right, down to six. Okay, that's some phenomenal range, though. That's awesome. Yeah, give us that. Uh, just, I just need. We need an idea what's going on here. These guys will make a decision on. I know that we don't have any fighters over here at Saigon, which is not exactly ideal. Uh, do I need to maintain a garrison here? Uh, I do not. Good. Let's get these guys a hell out of dodge. Right. Move to Penem. Actually, might as well. Yeah, march that way because you might take a weird way. Actually, what are the roads like in Indochina? Oh, it's all major. Okay, might as well... Might as well march. There's no rail lines here, so you might as well march directly to Saigon. So set all to follow, uh, put them in that mode. Uh, you can remain here for the time being. Right, let's get these guys moved. We do have plenty of reserves here, which is nice. Uh, what I'm going to do here, then, is put reserves in. Then transfer them. Transfer to Saigon. Hope you guys are enjoying the music, because I'm enjoying the music. Right, couple of reserves there. Hey, not bad pilots. Not bad pilots. Okay, what I'm going to do, though, is actually split the squadron. So we'll go over here to Saigon. Okay. So let's take a look, then. So 33 up to 20... Uh, 31, 27 is not bad at all, so I'm going to go to 31,000 feet. Uh, that altitude will come in potentially handy, but I'll do that with one of these squadrons. One of these attachments to the squadron. I'll have potentially... It's, it's going to be a difficult one trying to figure out where they're going to actually be. Uh, oh, there we go. We can actually bring in additional reserves now. Nice. That's a good way to actually increase the amount you have here. Right, there we go. I'll go for 31,000 feet with one of them. We'll go... I guess 20 for the another one. Uh, maybe about 15, then. We'll go 15 with another one. That's an airfield attack. Right, there we go. Let me make sure I've not got everyone up to the airfield attack. Right, set that range down to... Uh, uh, yep. Escort, yep. Escort, yep, yep. Okay. These guys are going to have run night cap. Uh, which is a lot of fun, I'd imagine. 
Mm, altitude is an interesting one. It would come to night bombing. Because uh, they usually come to low. I'm going to go, I don't know, maybe 15k? Is that okay? I suppose that's like mid-band. We'll try and figure out where the enemy is going to be. These guys are nice as they do have the two 20mm cannons there centrally mounted, which is nice. That's pretty awesome. Get some more in here, then. Oops. That'll do. Okay, and there we go. Right, so that's going to help to protect Saigon. Not massively, but at least it will help. The uh, KIs over here, the keys. These guys are reconnaissance. So this is it. We need to get an idea of where the actual enemy is. That's going to be very helpful. If I take a look at Saigon, so we do have a size 5 airfield, which is good. I do have a... Wow, that's 769 aviation support. Okay, we're never running out of that here. Uh, there's plenty of engineers. What I'm going to do is actually expand the fortifications here. Not that they're probably ever going to get finished, due to the fact that the engineers will probably be busy forever. It'll depend on the damage there. But I saw something. I do have a Georges of Hirosok. What I'm going to do then is maintain the aviation units here, but I'm going to actually have the Georges brought home there. Decent amount of them in reserve. We'll bring them over here to Saigon. There we go. I get a nervous about time, so I'm going to try to get us to a point where we can actually <laughs> go through the turn. Uh, I promise you, the game does move eventually. But this is it. If you like this sort of stuff, you're going to, you're going to be all over this. This is going to be all like new crack. Not that I know what crack's like. <laughs> if anybody's ever seen The Office US, you'll know the... Uh, you know the scene I'm talking about where like Ryan's like, oh yeah, people say that uh, it's just like crack. Haven't obviously tried crack. <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay, have them set up a sign gone. We'll get through this quickly enough. We're just going to get an idea of what's going on first foremost. Uh, 27, 26, that's pretty good there. That's like really, really good that they maintain pretty damn good maneuverability, even to extreme altitudes. We'll go for about... Uh, two. We'll go for about 31k as well then. There we go. Side gone. Excellent. Yeah, have them run in the day. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this game moves at the speed of continental drift. <laughs> Tectonic plates. <laughs> oh, God. Hated hearing that. Right, get uh, a couple of reserves up there. Where the hell do I really want these guys? We'll decide later. I need to figure out where we are lacking. So we do have some KI. Oh, Randy is nice. Uh, these are night fighters. These guys are awesome. You know, I could have actually done with some fighters of a Cameron Bay. We'll see if we can actually scrounge up some fights from elsewhere. Uh, Bangkok's defenseless, so that's always a good thing. It's also without a garrison, which is even better. I do have a tank regiment moving out that way. I have them in movement mode. I don't like it because we'll lose some victory points like that. Right, so I've got over here then to the north some Sally's, some Dinas as well. Uh, transports and, yeah, bombers, okay. Over here at Hainan. Uh, we do have some AC-75s. Mm, Sama. Oh, that's so much. We have so much of just things, but that will never move. Okay, well, we'll actually make some use of you then. Uh, what I'm going to do then is have you transferred over here to Cameron Bay. At least Cameron Bay will actually have some pretty solid knife fighters, which would be nice. Uh, what I'm going to do then, turn that down. There we go. These guys... We'll go for about 20k, I guess. Turn that off, turn that off. Right, there we go. So at least we'll actually have Cameron Bay inside gone looked after, which is going to be okay. That'll work for us. We can uh, use that. Right. Not tremendous amounts else, elsewhere. I have a 28th Army headquarters over here, which is not exactly doing me any good right now. Southern Army headquarters is over here too, apparently. But it can't be seen for some reason. <laughs> oh, do I still have it on? Yes, there we go. There we go. All units. That makes things a little bit easier to see. Probably why that was... Oh, no, there's just... There really is just the headquarters there. Okay, cool. Cool. Right. 15th Army there. 
that construction unit would be ideal inside Gong. So that's probably going to come onto quite heavy attack. But then again, actually, maintain some engineers out here is not too bad. There's not a lot I can really do over here very quickly. Right, let's get the actual night fighter set up. So what I'm going to do then is have these guys. Yes, they're running knights. Okay. Yeah, go 15 then, I guess. They'll come in really handy. I'm sure they will. Right, there we go. Okay, so that's more or less that done. I do have the Randys. So, yes. Is it the Randy? No, the Peggies. But I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with them as of yet. Um, okay, I could get some reserves in there if I wanted to do. It might be a case of actually moving them to elsewhere. So we'll hold them as a potential reserve for the time being. Okay. Right. Hong Kong. I do have shipping over here at Hong Kong I'd like to try and protect, because this shipping could be potentially moved out of here. Uh, the troop transports actually could be potentially used to move forces from Samar too. Uh, let's see. Canton's looking nice. Hefty amount of garrison there. That's just never going to move. That's the problem. It just ain't going to move, son. Units here as well. Okay. They are worth... Not very... Well, Hong Kong's worth a decent amount. Hong Kong has here, then. I'd say a light garrison might be taking a make. Right, let's move 104th Division to Hong Kong. Just on the off chance. I'd like to get some more... Um, well, let's see. Hong Kong here. Size 4 airfield. Size 4 airfield here. Just have the bloody space... Uh, space Force? Space Force. Not that we're flush over here, either. But I'd like to get a little bit more heading south to Hong Kong. Uh, try and make use of some of it, then. Alright, there we go. Alright, what do I have here? Okay, so... Well, that can remain there for the time being, then. I don't know if the Allies will land. I would be very, very, very surprised if they did. Hong Kong is urban heavy terrain, which is tied for defensive terrain. Same as Canton. They're tough nuts to crack. Right, so we have more Peggies here. We have Helens here as well. Again, we've got more of those. We've got those in Palamang too. And we've got bombers. We've got some Tojos. Good old Tojo. Issue is... Uh, right, okay. So we've at least got some fighters to work with. That's a very big squadron, potentially. Okay. We have things all over. That's the problem. <laughs> It doesn't, it doesn't particularly work well for us. Uh, we'll go to about 31 with these guys. Well, no, go 20. Go 20, see how things go. They're going to come under a pretty heavy air attack. These guys are going to have to get moved out elsewhere. I'm going to try to speed things up. Oh, God, there's no... Is there really no... Right, yes, I've got the Tojos. Okay. Tojos, love you, my boys. But we have no reserves, which is less than great. Not exactly ideal. Uh, yeah, that is a very... Oh, that is the... Uh, that's the original 44 Tojo as well, so that's not exactly ideal. <laughs> it's a little bit outdated by this point. A little bit. Just, just a tad. Okay. Well, that's that done. I'll see when I can actually move those bombers to you as we go on. Alright, these guys are running that. Yep. Yep, yep. I like how some of these things are actually set up that's nice. Right, okay. So I do have some fighters over here, then. We do have some 2C uh, Tojos. We have some 84s. Those 84s are fantastic, really. We need to figure out where they're going to be attacking us, to be honest. Hmm. Formosa is very important due to the fact that they actually represent quite a number of actual Japanese airfields. They're going to be looking to suppress uh, Formosa. Yeah, it's going to be a big, big game over here. Oh, default wild falls. Nice. Okay. Oscars. We have a mixed lot over here, but we do have fighters here. Right. Transportation aircraft there. We have the... Uh, <laughs> I almost said the Kitagami. The uh, Kamikaze. Right, okay. So, this is it. This, these are the airfields that are the closest to Okinawa. Uh, barring these ones. 
that are viable, really. I think if we're trying to hold for Mozart, we might have to try and get assets down here to relieve these men. Which, uh, easier said than done. I think what we could do then is I could start marching across here. It would take a very long time, but at least I'd be moving directly to Apari. I could move to the south. There's two units to the south. We might be able to deal with that to the south. So we will move to the south, and we'll have one turn moving to the south in movement mode. And then we can switch them over to um, a proper mode. Right. They're all planning for Bangkok for some reason. Okay, plan for that. Okay. You need to head over here to a party. If I can try to take a party, at least try to take something. Right, there's a enemy. Um, so there's a river there. Okay. We'll march one day, and then we can have them in combat mode. We'll be okay. Probably. I don't know how much they actually have. That's where reconnaissance will come in handy. It's say seven units. That could be massively different. Maybe it's worthwhile having them hold back for the time being. Okay, maybe we'll just hold back for the time being then. Until we get an idea of what's actually there. That's where the reconnaissance will come in handy. Right, here we go. Uh, what we're going to do then is have them set up for cap. But if I take a look then, so over here, uh, we do have some base force. We do have some aviation support, which is good news. Uh, Side Warrior, I feel pretty sweet. I can use that. That gives us something there that's alright. I can work with that. Okay. That altitude is good. To about 20. There we go. Yeah, I can just feel that for most is going to come under a pretty damn heavy attack, so I'm going to try to prevent that. So, we do have satellites over here. Now, the bombers... I might just want to transfer the bombers back to Japan, really. I mean, possibly. It's a question of, like, how much good is the bombers actually going to do for us. But then again, we do need to maintain some ability to strike back. We just need to figure out where the enemy actually is. Uh, reconnaissance is going to be a difficult thing, because they're going to have a hefty cap over there. They're just going to have so many units. So, so much of everything, really. Mm. We'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll try and figure it out. Right, so we do have more kamikaze there. Okay, let's see. Sword by fighters. We do only have a George's over here at uh, KO, uh, which isn't exactly amazing. We'd like, obviously, ideally more. Right, okay. Uh, we'll go for 31k. Not that they're probably going to come in at that sort of altitude, but I'd like to have a diving advantage. That diving advantage is going to be extremely important. Not much else I can do here, because we don't have that many in the way fighters here. Alright, let's see. No fighter bombers? No. Night fighters, dive bombers. We do have dive bombers, which are nice. These guys do have some guns here that could be potentially used in an offensive role. <laughs> Our defensive role. Mm, not exactly ideal, though. Their range isn't exactly amazing. They are carrier capable, though. That's something to bear in mind. It might simply be the best case to actually move them out this way. Uh, they're not too bad. I mean, they could be used, but then again, it's one of these things of like, okay, so they do have decent speed, but they don't have armor, they don't have a huge amount of durability. It might be a case of potentially using them for the uh, defense of their homeland. Uh, let's see what else we have. So we have all these bombers over here. I think maybe we get the bombers moving out. I think the kamikaze aircraft... Oof. I don't know. Uh, we'll have to take a look with things, really. What I might do for now then is have everything stood down, but then again if I have it rest and it's going to be subject to airfield attacks, it's a difficult one to try and manage here. Right, LVY 2s We have you guys here, okay. Right. Have them train for kamikaze. <laughs> uh. Okay. Just train. I mean, I could actually try and pick these guys up, but I don't have an airfield. If I could take a power the airfield, at least I could try and pick them up from the airfield, try and get them hell out of dodge. Which is easier said than done. I do have some D382s. Sexier version. 
Yeah, they're just running naval search right now. With a uh, pathetic range. Okay, so I have these guys. What we're going to do then is we're going to take the actual fighters from China and bring them to Formosa. Okay, 15 babs, that's actually pretty nice. I can actually make use of that for uh, reconnaissance over Okinawa. Uh, specifically over Naha. Okay. Let's give you some intelligence over there. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> okay, we have the Franks. Sexy, sexy boys that they are. Okay, have them transferred to Takao. 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 I should just say Takao. So that is what it is, Takao. Alright, get you in there. Don't exactly want you on um, bombing. Yeah, look at those cannon. Uh, maneuverability to just drop off. Maybe 20k feet, but then again, it's one of those, isn't it? I could probably get away with it, because if they're coming in to bomb, they're not going to be coming in. Then again, if they're coming in to sweep, that's a problem. But we'll see. We'll try and manage it as best we can, really. We need to have some defenses, at least. Right, we have a Tojo's. Uh, 2C. Which is not bad. Uh, not bad. It's really getting numbers. That's what we need, numbers. Right, defend all. Yeah. That'd be nice. But if I can make use and hold on to for most, or at least I can actually use it. Okay. Right, there we go. Yeah, that maneuverability is not exactly great. Um, Let's go 15k then, I guess. I'd love to have, like, a night fighter. That would be nice. Sonoyas can do whatever they want. It's not an aircraft I'm going to waste my time with at this moment in time. I'm going to get things moving. Okay, try sevens. Okay. Kate's over here, then. Uh, Franks. Look at all those Franks. Those are nice Franks. Hmm. Again, these guys could be really instrumental elsewhere. Uh, but what we're going to do here then is have them stood down. Why is it all weird? Are they only training? No, it's a training group. Why would you put them in this aircraft? Yeah, okay. So I can't, I can't move it apparently. You're going to go back to the Canada 27s, buddy. Yeah, there you go. Like hell, I'm having those airframes being wasted. Hmm. Right, these guys can kind of look after ACSM 7 ish. Fire bomber. Not as if I even really matters. Okay. But that's it, isn't it, really? Uh, the issue that we have right now is the fact that we really need a sense of where uh, where the bad things are going to happen. That's a lot of them. Alright. Uh, I'm going to make use of them. I'm going to try and figure out where they want to be, though. That's a lot of zeros. Willows. Oh, yeah, home islands, definitely. So that's a training group. Jesus. Not like even matters at this point. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I like these guys. 
Yeah, default white. Okay. Yeah, night fire bombs indeed. Uh, well, what I'm going to do then is have them. Uh, I could just have them run naval search, but I don't think it'd be any matter. Well, actually, we could have them potentially run SW for the time being. Okay. Until I get an idea of when I actually want to have them being used, I'm just going to have them run um, ASW for the time being. Just for the time being, so we know where we want to actually use them. I think what we're going to need to do then is protect Fusan. Uh, Fusan, Kijo. Alright, time's ticking on by. We'll try... God, I can't believe an hour's gone already. This is why I enjoy this game. Eats up time like nobody's business. Alright, let's protect Kijo. Set all fires to do the same for the time being. Ah, there we go, the Tony. That's a nice one. Okay, yep, yeah, good climb speed. Yep, nice. Okay, you can be made use of elsewhere. Where? Not exactly sure right now. Oh dear. Okay. There's a lot of aircraft, sorry, there's a lot of ships over here, though. Yeah, which makes sense, as far away as possible, really. A lot of big tankers there, too. Holy moly. Ah, we have the Nyx. Ooh, these guys are intriguing. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Hmm. Ah, oh, they're training group. <laughs> hmm. Damn it. Okay. Oh, no. Well, it looks like that's where you're going to stay. That's a real shame. Yeah, well. Right, we do have some more zeros over here. At least I can make use of these guys. Not amazing, but still good enough. Can get them transferred to full sun? Uh, we might have to just... Um, I don't know. I want to show you guys what happens when the game properly gets into action. We're not too far. We've only got the home islands to sort, and then some other aircraft squadrons uh, that we didn't quite finish up on. And it'll be good to go. I don't think he's just going to come up to tremendous amounts of attack. It's pretty uh, damn good, but it's, it's... There's a lot of other targets around the area. So I don't think... Uh, I don't think Korea's going to come under that much attack. If I last words right. Right, have him an escort. Mm, 15. Okay. We'll go about 20,000 then. For now, anyway. I just need to get a sense of what we're having to deal with, really. Once we have an idea, then that's not too bad. So we'll set the uh, exit some two zeros to do that. What I'm going to do is take this squadron. Uh, and these are days six and fives, okay. Okay. Fifteen. Right. Yeah, uh, what I'm going to do then is take... I'm still looking at the wrong base here. There we go. I thought I had two squadrons. Hmm, okay. Must be, uh, must be me being mad. Oh, we do have Tonys over here. These are nice. Yeah, look at that. That climb rate's really good. It's not very well armed. That's a problem, however. Uh, whereabouts can I go? I can't use drop tanks right now. Transfer range isn't exactly great. Fusan's not too bad. Kijo. Mm, I think we'll look after Fusan. Sorry, I think we'll look after Kijo and Fusan. Figure out where we need to have them from there, really. Right, then maneuverability. Uh, we'll go about 20, I guess. Okay.
What am I going to do with the ace? It's on seven. Oh, I can't actually split it up. That's a shame. Okay, so it's not here. But what I'll do then is have them split up to run knight as well. Uh, so we do have some 102s over here. These randies. These guys are nice. And those are knight fighters, in fact. They're going to be excellent. Don't know why they're not in Tokyo. Uh, get them to Tokyo, Osaka. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's put them into action, please. I imagine they're going to come in in a decently high altitude. So we can go up to, wow, all the way up to 44. That's impressive. There we go, up to 40,000 feet, see how that looks. That's a crazy high altitude. I don't know what altitude the American bombers are coming at. I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, maybe, I don't know. I don't know what altitude they're coming at. We'll stick to 25 for the time being, then. Maybe 20. Uh, it doesn't really make a difference in that sort of altitude. So I guess we'll go for 30 to begin with, then. We'll figure it out from there. Okay. Right, I'm going to make some decisions about these guys over here. Then all we have to do, then, is the home islands. And then we'll be good to go. Okay. How you doing there, Vapor? Good to have you, my friend. This is Gary Grisby's War in the Pacific Admirals Edition. And believe me, the game does eventually move. We will be doing things <laughs> sooner. Uh, soon enough. We're just finishing off the defenses here. We're playing the Operation Downfall campaign. I think what I might do then... I mean, this is the thing here. It's, it's a space of time sort of consideration. Uh, we'll get the air defenses set up and then I think we'll take it from there. I'm very conscious of time. Sounds crazy, doesn't it? It's, I feel like I might run out of time when I've got an hour still left. But it's like, I want to get stuff done. Uh, right, these guys, I do want to get the heck out of here. We'll have them move to Saigon so I can look after them. And try to move them elsewhere. That would be nice. Right, okay. These guys can do as they please. Float planes can do the same. We'll have them do naval search. Not that particularly matters, but we'll have them run night search. Again, not that it particularly matters. But it'll come in handy, I guess. There we go. That's them sorted. So over here then. Right. Plenty to work with. So those guys. What I'm going to do then is the bombers that are in the actual position here then. Uh, they're either going to be running naval search or they're going to be stood down resting there. Right, get you there. What I'm going to do then is set all the bombers like that for the time being. We'll go through here. G3s, put that range up. <sighs> that range is superb. That's really nice of search. Sally's can just rest. Okay. These guys... I'd say just rest for the time being. Can't have too many of them right now. Get some reserves in there. They could be potentially be useful later. Naval search. Naval search. Uh, they're also naval search, but what I can do is actually have them on SW as well. Go at 80, 20 there. Down to 2,000 feet. Naval search, but they need to be stood down. Yep, these guys need to be stood down. And you're stood down. Okay, that's good. That's that sorted there for the time being at least. These guys uh, would have them transferred to Saigon. They can bring the air division. Transports, right. All of them do the same thing. There we go. Rest. Uh, rest here. Those demons I'm going to get transferred over here to... But actually I could use them to run reconnaissance. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Could I do it over Singapore? How far away is Singapore? Singapore is 17. Okay. Transfer them to Saigon. Let's see. Still outside range? <laughs> yeah, no, let's see the explosions. <laughs> I know, it's crazy, isn't it? Alright, we'll just have them run naval search then. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. So that's more or less being sorted outside. Uh, we'll deal with Japan now, and then we'll be able to move on. Now. So let's take a look at where we actually have things, because this is going to be a problem. <laughs> I'm going to have to just set things up here. Okay, so these are train squadrons. Good God. Right. Do your job. There's a big old squadron there. Okay, what we're going to do then for the most part is we'll set things up like this and then we'll fine tune it. So set all fighters to do the same if they can, and then at least we can work with that. Okay, Willows, don't much care. There we go. <laughs> then Sentai, yeah. <laughs> Oh uh, dear. I like these trained ones actually. Alright, torpedo boats. Oh wow. Float torpedo boats. Nice. These guys could be rather intriguing actually. They could be intriguing. <laughs> they could be intriguing. Okay, I'm gonna set up like so. Right. Uh, I do have night fighters here. Fukuoka uh, is gonna be one that I do wanna hold on to, as you can imagine. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do then is have you transferred. Let's see. Need to look after Tokyo. Right, there we go. Have them run about 20, just... Uh, yeah, a lot of this is going to be, like, really uh, getting a feel for the game. Trying to figure out what the allies are going to be doing. Okay. What I'm going to do is divide off a chunk there. And they can run night. Oh, good God. <laughs> There's so many. There's so, so, so many here. Uh, what I'm going to do then is just get them set up so we can actually just, just handle things for the most part. And then we'll get going from there, really. I think that's going to be the way forward. We'll just we'll get things sorted as we go, really. Oh boy. Hmm. Kamikazes, nice. That's a big old bird. Jesus. G4M2E. A missile. That's awesome. <laughs> That's absolutely awesome. That's crazy cool. I'm looking forward to seeing how that performs. Okay. Naval search, please. That is amazing. Okay. Right, what I'm going to do here then to save on time, because I'm worried about things, I'm worried about time slipping away here, is... Right, Rex is awesome. They could still come in handy. <laughs> they can still be used. We'll shoot down some B-29s with these, with these biatches. Right, what I'm going to do here then, due to time slipping, is we'll have these guys set up. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the only issue. It would be nice if I had it pre-done, but then again, it, you've got to give people the actual feel of the game. The game is fantastic. It is very detailed, but it's not insurmountable. It just takes a little bit of time. Just takes a little, little bit of time. You've got to have that time. <laughs> right, okay. We're nearly there now. We'll get the turn going in just a moment, and then you guys can actually see what the game looks like in progress. It's going to be painful. That's such a cool looking image. <laughs> yeah, no, right. Right, that was just going to be really important. Just set them to do it. I don't care if they can't do it properly. Right, let's make sure these guys... Right, knife fight is super important. Wish everything wasn't set to training, that'd be nice. Half the fight is actually getting everything set up. <laughs> okay, that's good. Right, they can 
They can do what the hell they want. Okay. Right. Those guys are set. Okay, they're training. Get those guys. Right, there we go. Okay, it's easy enough. The vast majority of these I can have set up. Right. That'll do for now. That's Osaka done. Awesome. Let's move on to Tokyo. Oh, good God, there's a lot. <laughs> oh, God, there's a lot. Okay, so we have a thousand aircraft over here at Tokyo. Alright, let's see. Night Fighters. Glad to have these guys. Right, get them into the actual proper mode. That's cool. It's actually got an upward facing cannon. It is amazing. Right, there we go. Let's go about 15, I guess. Okay. Oh, good God. <laughs> Love it. Alright, there we go. Right. Fighters. Don't be in training. We'll finish Tokyo and then we'll get the game going. So it'd be intriguing if we had jets. <laughs> if that'd make a difference. It does make me want to play Gary Grisby's Bomb in the Reich. That's one game I really want to learn how to play. Oh yes, we have got jets! Yes! Nice! That's a group I'm going to pay, uh, pay some special attention to. <laughs> yeah. I'm very happy there. Yeah, you were right, Verifoken. Right, just let him light that. Specs, yeah, we'll go ahead and take a look at that. Yeah, that's amazing, isn't it? That's uh, so a 381 cruise speed there. We have 529 max. Range, nothing really to look at. You also get the J8 rockets. Awesome. But yeah, we've got the 30 mil cannons. We've got the 20 mil cannons there. Uh, central mounted, which is fantastic. Fast enough, bitch. Climb rate's not amazing, but yeah, that speed's pretty awesome. Uh, her maneuverability. I might as well have her up there. Hanger Queen. <laughs> oh, dear. Can I go for 31? Yeah, we'll go with 31,000 for you, man. Okay, we'll go with that, man. We've got the Night Fighter set up. Everything else is going to have to manage it, because there's just there's so many air squadrons here. There's so much for us to take into consideration. Never even mind mentioning the submarines of the actual naval aspect. But I did have a question earlier on as to what do we have left of the Navy. So we do have some carriers. We do have them over here at Nagata. Uh, yeah. Nagata. It looks like the vast majority of the Navy is a Nagata. That's a lot of APDs there at Fukuoka. Okay. Well, we can make use of that. So what we're going to do is get these set up. One last hurrah. Ooh, I like those destroyers with the 485 AA. These guys. Kashima. Katori. <laughs> I like you, my friend. It's not often they survive, actually. Sakawa. Agano. Beautiful there. Lovely man of aim. Okay. Shh, 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 shh. OCB. <laughs> Don't hurt me more. Right, we need that. Uh, need to be that, of course, of Walters. I mean, this is worrying because we could very likely get torpedoed here. I will make do. Uh, what we're going to do here then is. Uh, how's the fuel? Yeah, be careful, indeed. Uh, fuel's okay. We've got the fuel there. Yeah. Subs infested water, indeed. Uh, let's see. Ocean Deep. Do I have... We could operate in the coastal hexes, but carriers don't do tremendously well in coastal hexes. Hmm. There's no, like, ocean shallow around here. There is a little bit over there, but that's a kind of crazy place to be. Well, maybe it's not the worst idea. Probably is the worst idea. Hmm. I 
Right. Uh, what do we have aboard here? Exit some eights. Okay. Ah, oh, thank God for that. Okay. Said them apply that for the time being. Mm -hmm. Okay, 10's fine. Yeah, that'll be fine, that'll be fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's amazing. I like it. Okay. How you doing there, man? Good to have you, my friend. This is Gary Grisby's War of the Pacific. Now, it might say it's actually Astra Exodus. That is incorrect. It might say I'm Richard York, but uh, he's by far the sexier gentleman. I'm going to get some more destroyers here, in fact, uh, covered in this force. Oops. Man, these are nice destroyers. What I'm thinking is I might send the carrier group to the north, perhaps. If we can't effectively operate here, maybe we could try and, uh, maybe, maybe we head for, mid, I don't know, like, midway. Maybe head for, like, Pearl. You know, second time's a charm. <laughs> I think if we get out of these waters, maybe we could try and do something. I need to get into a position where we're outside the enemy's, like, just, yeah, operating area. Or at least the area where they can just crush us. Uh, so we'll go with that, then. I'm going to head for the north. I'm going to head for that uh, ocean shadow. Just run about there-ish. Uh, yeah, about there. We'll head north. I mean, I could head... Well, actually, probably what I'm better off doing is heading this way. We need to get the hell out of these waters, so... Um, it's going to be easier said than done. Let's see. Oh, God. <laughs> At least I can control these waters, maybe? I don't know. It's not going to be... It's not going to go well. It's not going to go well. We'll see what we can do, though. Try and get the hell out, <laughs> if at all possible. Uh, but there we go, we'll go with that. So that has been a good solid hour and 24 minutes. I'm so sorry, guys, it takes so long, but the game is amazing. We're going to go ahead and see how it looks. It's going to be fun. I promise you, it will be fun. If you guys enjoy, like, organization and uh, trying to get, like, an actual feel for what would be... I mean, this is it. It's a decent approximation of what war could look like. It ain't easy, and it's large scale just like me we'll go ahead here so yes the game is turn based of course oh boy it's warm here in the UK today you can just see that the Americans have just all this air power <laughs> uh, yeah the Marianas isn't going to be reconquered anytime soon though Okay, so the difficulty is we have to deal with just so much. I will be intrigued to see where they throw their B-29s. That's going to be the big one there. Mm -hmm. Right, so we are seeing bad weather cancelling patrols out that way. <laughs> I just love the fact that the vast majority of the Japanese Air Force is on training. There's too many squadrons for us to get through to there. Um, but I'm quite happy that we'll at least be running some naval search. Yeah, you can see that there's like submarines in the waters around here. 
Uh, I, mean, I don't even know where the Hates Escape Falls are, actually. We didn't get a chance to get to them. Would have been a wise idea to have gone to the patrol aircraft. Oh, well. Right, one of those shot down there by Cap. Okay. Yeah, you can just see there's plenty of submarines in these waters. Right. Submarines near Ominato. Plenty of submarines there, south of Tokyo. Okay. So we have a raid coming in here from Naha on uh, Okinawa. So we see their War Hawks, Thunderbolts, and Avengers then. So they're on uh, air attacks. They're looking to hit the airfield. I can get why. It just. I'm not particularly using it right now. How are you doing there, Harold? <laughs> yeah, super high res badge. Uh, this is modded. This is the rock. No, what is it? The pure R and R. Oh god, who was the name? Hey, Chem Kid uh, was the guy who made the actual map mod. I do have it available on my Discord if you'd like to take a look at it. There's other variations of uh, of the mod as well, actually. Okay, so we are engaging here with UCP 47N. The P47s are ridiculously good. But we are actually doing a, a decent number of them, because we're probably diving, as you'd imagine, as we are at a decent altitude. I think we're at, what, 20, 25k? Uh, additional Tojo's arriving. That's 102 Mitchells, though. No, that's uh, that's 163 Mitchells. Wow. We have eight Tojo's defended here. We do have more ATS and that will be joining, but they have not arrived yet. And do let me know if the actual audio is about right, or is it too quiet? Sorry, or is it too loud? Right, okay, so, so A6 of 8 is right. Yeah, it's definitely worth doing there, Harold. It really does make the game just infinitely more enjoyable. The map looks absolutely gorgeous. Right, yeah. Yeah, we're diving there. Liking that. Hmm. What I'm going to do here then is going to speed up the results and we'll see what the damage is. <laughs> yeah. Not bad though. We actually did manage to take out some Thunderbolts. We do have Black taken out with the Mitchells, which is no idea though. Yeah, you can see here we're being bombed, but they're not hitting to Cowl. Uh, to Cowl. Uh, which isn't much of a consolation. Oh, yeah. I wish I moved those L3Y2 teams now. Oh, so many nice ones there. So many nice ones. <laughs> this explosions. Uh, so we did actually damage a few of them. The issue is they hit this base. Kind of wish I'd moved the L3Y2s, but there we go. We've learned a lesson. Uh, issues I just don't have enough time to do things properly. Maybe one day I might do this as like a separate campaign, perhaps. Okay. Right, not so bad this time. We do have a Ki, uh, sorry, Key 115A destroyed. Uh, we are taking a few of them. It's just the issue is that the Americans have so many aircraft. They can definitely arrive in overwhelming numbers. Right, Liberators, we do have 12 defended here. So we have 12, sorry, 75 B some, <laughs> B24s. Jesus. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, these numbers. We should be diving on them, though, I'd imagine. The issue is the Tojo is nice, but it's just it's nowhere near enough for them. They do have firepower to damage them, but uh, it's difficult. I think they're effectively using 50 cals. You really need cannon. You really do want cannon at this sort of stage. Okay, let's speed this one up. So I managed to shoot down a few. Hell and destroyed on the ground. Okay. Right, okay, so we are seeing some uh, the B-29s there. So we have B-29, 25 Super Fortress. Those guys have ridiculous range. They're probably, they could be, uh, I think they're flying out from the uh, Philippines. That looks with the direction they're coming from. Oh, God, let me get through. <laughs> Ouch. 
<laughs> God. Oh, that's a lot of aircraft destroyed on the ground there. Okay, so if we were playing this scenario more seriously, I think what you would have to do as a Japanese player is just essentially move all the bombers in land. Because they're gonna get hit, and they're gonna get wrecked. Right, Amami Oshima, once again, Amami Oshima. E38, those are nasty. into the PM. Not too bad actually, the AM wasn't as devastating as you'd imagine. The carriers are actually moving off, which is good. I really want to find one of those Hastings Gate Falls now, because I don't like them being shot down. They're fantastic. Right, okay, if the carriers can make it through uh, the straits over here, through Omanato, past Omanato, I'd be quite happy there. We might be able to use the carrier group to potentially hit something. Uh, it'd be intriguing to try and assemble like a decent Japanese psych. Naval force, but when they get this, this is their last hurrah. After their already last hurrah. Okay, they're approaching Palapai. So we have P51 Mustangs over here, we have Battlefighters. Love the Mustang. Don't love it when I get shot up by it though. Yep, they make it through. Uh, we might have been actually too high there. Yeah, we were up at 20. They were down vote 10. 32 Dominator. What an amazing name. Yeah, truck can't do snap. Still has flag though. Still at least defend itself, but yeah, they can't do very much. Oh, not too bad, actually. We didn't see an attack on Tokyo today. That's actually quite surprising. I thought they would have opened up on Tokyo and Osaka. Okay, that's not too bad. At least we have a little bit more of a chance to actually organize things. Uh, so we've seen that they're going quite heavily for Canton and uh, Hong Kong. And they're marching. Okay. So the carriers have managed to make it somewhat north there, which is okay. We can see, yeah, look at that. You can see, <laughs> look at that, guys. You can see the amount of submarines in the area. And these are the submarines that we can actually see, but you can see they're all over here. It's going to be difficult to try and get them out through, through the area without being torpedoed. Hmm. Oh well, we'll manage it. Okay, so we have a number of actual escorts arriving over here to Tokyo. Question is, is it worthwhile? Where are you going to even, what are you going to escort? Where's it going? Because it ain't going anywhere. <laughs> it ain't going anywhere. It's gonna like how how do you turn about things at this point in time? The Philippines are gone, more or less. Um, truck cut off massively. Palembang still held, but cut off massively. Indochina and China, the only real thing is there. But it doesn't particularly matter when um, when this is it. The Allies don't really even need to bother with China. So there we go. So we're gonna sense the. Uh, so how did we come through the turn then? So we lost today 74 aircraft. Chumps numbers there. So 11 destroyed by Black and the Allies. We had 69 destroyed in the airfield today. <sighs> Awful. Yeah, that's a difficulty. We just don't have the numbers to protect everything. Yeah, those guys more or less just managed, managed to just leave them to their fate there. Okay. Yeah, the. <sighs> Those guys really suck because I could have, I should have really got them out there. It might have been potentially worthwhile to have had them actually made useful and just attack off an hour. As we have Jesus Christ. So you see over here on Naha, it's reporting 232 fighters, 417 bombers, 706 auxiliaries, 247 fighters, 236 bombers, 322 auxiliaries. Just an insane, insane air force. Yujima, big numbers there. So, we're going to have to try and get these guys the hell out of Dodge. We'll try, we'll try. Okay, what I want to find then is where the patrol aircraft are. Right, okay, Yokohama? Uh, Shiba? Okay. Let's get them doing something decent. They were still getting shot down, that's the problem. They are still getting shot down. 
I do have a good number of them in reserve, though, which is nice. These guys have some great range. I can try and figure out where the Americans are. Whoa! Hey, it's K5! Hello! Look at that range! Whoa! That ain't bad at all. Yep, the Emilys. <laughs> nice. So these guys are in Yokohama. What we could potentially do then is actually organize for like a raid. Uh, issue is if we don't really have fighters. But if we saw like a task force out here, we could potentially have them uh, given torpedoes and actually sent against it. They'd get shot up, but I don't know. Maybe they'd have a chance. Okay. We need to know what's going on around us. Right, good. Chunk more over here. These guys could be really quite handy. Get yeah, in some action over here. A war do vengeance. We'll get we'll get things more or less going on. Really, we don't have a tremendous amount of time. So I want to I want to give this uh, I want to give this time here to actually playing. Let you guys actually experience what the game looks like. But yes, a lot of the game really is making these decisions, and it is absolutely amazing when you're playing against a human opponent. Even against the AI in the grand campaign, it can put up a fight. It can definitely give you an idea of how to play the game. But you never get the uh, <laughs> you never have a great feel than when you fight against a human. Really, really intriguing. Predominantly what I do over on my channel on YouTube, actually. Let's play one of Pacific. <laughs> well worthwhile. Okay, so we can see the amount of submarines up here. So, if I was to take a look then, uh, shipping. Yeah, so, wow. Yeah, uh, we do have a lot of actual submarines, a decent amount. These are guys... Uh, it's not too bad, they're like essentially midget submarines, but they have a little bit more range. A decent, decent chunk more range, actually, that's not too bad. Use... Ooh, do we have the carrier submarines? Uh, that's a nice big boy. Capacity... I always forget their names. <laughs> I always forget the names. Uh, ah, haha! -ha, yes, here we go. So we actually do have the uh, the submarine carriers. These guys are awesome. I know a lot of people really enjoy these, and I really enjoy these because they're just really awesome. <laughs> Ridiculously great range. Issue is you get them so late in the war, it's like, well, they don't really particularly matter much. Uh, so where are they based? They're over here in Osaka. So we have a siren here. <laughs> I really like it. Okay. Oh dear. I mean, we could potentially make use of them. Let's see. Right, we'll get them in there together. We could head for Chichijima. Just potentially have a safe border call. Well, a little bit safe, quote unquote. Uh, what I want to do then is I just rank at the mem. Um, could move them that way. I'd like to head out this way. Well, then again, what we need to do is we need to figure out where the American uh, naval assets are. That's the question. Where are they? So. Maybe head for a Niwotok. Possibly. Possibly. But try to survive, because you're probably not going to survive. Right, what I'm going to do then is actually have them operate their float planes at night, otherwise they're probably going to get shot up. That's probably a big fact. Oh, okay. No, oh, uh, right. Okay, of course, of course. Ugh. Just have them stood down for the time being then. No, oh, actually. We might as well make use of them, I guess. They are great, and they give us some nice eyes to work with. 
Plus they're pretty meanful, which is nice. <laughs> Can you imagine if they arrived early in the war, though? They'd be so awesome. They'd be so crazy cool. Right, we'll go with that then. It doesn't seem like we have... Uh, well, it doesn't seem like there's not a lot of time left, but you'd be quite surprised. There's a lot of time ticking on by here. So we need to get some turns in. I can see the weapon over there. Okay. We'll see how we get on. Try and manage it as best we can. I mean, really what we're looking for is trying to figure out where the enemy is, trying to figure out where the actual shipping is. If we can figure out where shipping is, at least I can actually do something. Issue is that's easier said than done. But at least we have the actual patrol set up properly. <laughs> Indeed, more explosions. Right, here we go. I will be rather intrigued but if we actually do find where these ships are. If we can figure out where the American knight, where the main body is, just look at all those submarines, Jesus Christ. Like, there's so much we could do here. We could set up, like, uh, sub chasers. We could set up quite a number of different things there. Question comes down to does it really make that much of a difference? Ah, here we go. So we have some knights. They're coming to for Yokohama. So we do have the Denko, uh, we do have the Mertz, and we have the Randys over here. Have an engaged the B2925 Super Fortresses. Those guys are likely coming in from Yojima. At what altitude are they coming in at? I just saw it come up, but I didn't quite get to see it. Shot down by Randys. <laughs> Maybe we should have gone higher. Right, so they're actually coming in pretty low there. So that's something good to know about then. So they seem to come in about 9,000 feet at night. What would we do then to speed things up? I mean, even then, even then. Like, these guys are tough. Like, you look at that, we've hardly shot any of them down. But we can definitely adjust our altitudes quite nicely. Yeah, they shot one of us down. We damaged a couple of them. Uh, what did they actually do here? What did they actually take? Night air attacks. It looks like they went for the airfield. They didn't actually manage to cause a lot of damage or really, really even... Oh, city attack there. Okay, never mind. Looks like they didn't manage to do tremendous amounts, but it might not report any actual... Well, they probably will have hit the city. But unless it's like fires, it won't report it the same. Okay. Yes. Severe storms over the target right now. Yeah, look at that manpower hit fires. <laughs> yeah, we only scratch. <laughs> we only scratch them. <laughs> or is that for more thunder? Oh, they are tough. Okay, one of them shot down by Flak. That's crazy. Coming in at 5,000 feet, apparently, actually. Right, they were at 10. <laughs> yeah, this is fine. <laughs> There's not much we can do about it, frankly. Oh, 
Okay. Right, so they... Oh God, these uh, altitudes are kind of crazy. But we do shoot down two with flak there. So they were 11. So they seem to be about 5, 11-ish thousand feet. Which gives us some sort of work with. <laughs> Did it for name trap? I don't know about that. There's a lot of reading I need to do in the future. Like, I've got a book, so I just need to have the time to read it, really. What altitude do they go in? So 13. God damn, stop switching the altitude zone. It looks like 14,000 feet might be potentially the best case. Maybe a mix, really. Yeah, there's not much we can do to stop the D29s. Yeah, that's a lot of fires there. <laughs> I'm just thinking, what if we could try and get the carriers and uh, attack Yojima? <laughs> uh, imagine bombarding uh, Yojima with the. Uh, what is it, Nagato? <laughs> They'll never see it coming. Right, private ears. Be oh, wow. Yeah, boom goes your heart, man. I know, right? You can see why the actual fleet were based on the other side of Japan. Not like it makes a tremendous amount of difference, but at least it helps. Hmm. Yeah, 9,000 feet. That has a lot of variation there in actual altitudes. <laughs> ah, okay. Ah, Tokuyama. Not too bad there. 6,000 feet was that. Yeah, they're really, they're really getting a... Um, <laughs> they're really going hard for Yokohama. I feel quite bad because this is it. This is where we'd actually properly organize things and have night fighters where we need them to be. The issue is the Allies can just really hit whatever the hell they like. This is why we should turn the tables and attack Iwo Jima. <laughs> I can't remember which game it was now. But it was like some sort of game where you were like flying aircraft. And if it wasn't there like, there was like a mission where you could fly like a lone uh, zero. I think it was at Iwo Jima. I can't remember what game it was now where you like, you could fly like a lone zero and you had to take out everything. It was like an impossible mission. God, I can't remember what game it was now. Somebody will know what I'm talking about. I'm just trying to think what it was now. The Last of Zero, I think it was called. You can see our cap has been ground down there. Just seeing this numbers are insane. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Oh god. Yeah, blue zergs want them. <laughs> There we go. And this is only in the night phase as well. All right, speed things up. Yeah, B29, yeah. <laughs> you can see why you need cannon. This is why you need cannon to deal with these bad points. It will eventually end. They do have to go to sleep. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, it's just you can't stop that many B-29s. This is like where, when you actually played the campaign, you really try to prevent this happening. Jeez. Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll stop once you surrender, yeah. <laughs> stop the bombing. Okay. So moving into the actual AM phase now, we're going to get bombed even more. <laughs> it's, they call it Operation Downfall. It should really be like Operation Bombfall. <laughs> that might be the best idea. Let's see if like, uh, our characters can make it. I'm going to paint in that, by the way. Operation Bombfall. <laughs> there we go. Well, that's one that I didn't get around to cancelling. <laughs> That's going to be bad. <laughs> That's going to be bad. Okay, so this is where... I think what I might do is, if I get the time, is I'll set up a proper Operation Downfall scenario. But there's so much. There's so much I have to take into consideration here. Unfortunately, we didn't have the time to actually prevent all these. So, so many squadrons. Into Chichijima. Well, our subspace uh, did make it out here. That's nice. But that was a pretty effective blockade there. There's really not anything moving around in Japan. Right, we have Liberated Spinning over here, but I have no defenses. Yeah, I mean, this is it. Uh, Hang Chao? Yeah. Oh god, they're hitting the ships. No! Ah, oh, damn it! Oh no! Oh no. Okay, that's quite bad. Nasty because I was thinking, okay, they'll not, they'll not do it. They'll not do it. Yeah, no, they will do it. You just you just can't stop it. <laughs> you can't stop it. Yeah, I'm scraping. Oh. Does invade Japan, but obviously it would take some time. I might actually persevere with this scenario here. That's a lot of ships going down. I don't think they're going anywhere anyway. <laughs> I mean, this is it. I'm talking about, oh, let's try and get some fuel out of, like, uh, China to Japan. I don't think we'd be able to. You just take a look at how... Jesus. <laughs> they're all gone. They're all dead, Jim. Oh, yeah. Best part is not even nearly over. <laughs> and this is it. If you want to enjoy total and unrivaled American air dominance, and you play one of Pacific Operation Downfall because you have that unrivaled air field dominance. You could throw your weight around. This game isn't about winning or losing. It's about mucking up more than either high command, but still somehow managing to end the war earlier. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm still wondering where the actual ally assets are. And this is it, we're at a decided disadvantage when it comes to actual airplanes. But it is a scary, scary <laughs> sneak peek into the future here.
Ach, Gott. This is not a psychological <laughs> place or something, would it? Be? Kind of the problem. But it's to be expected, really. We can't find it everywhere, can we? We are transferring the air division, so that's not too bad. Get something out of that at least. Okay. Right, so our forces marching there, that's good. And that is how nice it gets. <laughs> Oh dear. This is it. You can't defend everywhere. You can try, but you're not going to be able to do it well. And the Allies have remarkably effective aircraft. But this is the whole fun of it. It's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I do hope you guys have enjoyed this. Unfortunately, we are at the end. This is the thing here. The game is simply so huge and so much fun. I just don't want to end. <laughs> but I'm sure the B-29s will enter pretty soon. But no, I mean, this is the best part. And this is really what I try and give my channel towards on YouTube, which is XCRG, by the way. Nice, nice, nice drop there. He's trying to make the game approachable. I'm not the best player by far, but I like to try and always make it approachable, which is a lot of fun. And we do have fun. We do have a couple of player by emails going on at this moment in time, and there will be probably more out there in the future. I think potentially some modded campaigns will be really intriguing. Now, what I'm going to do here is, just as we're nearly at the end, I'm just going to give you guys a, a sneak peek of um, what the other scenarios look like. Well, actually. Yes, this is absolutely World War II. So what I'm going to do then, it's, it's a good job that you actually asked there. Uh, ignore what the actual uh, video title says. It seems somebody forgot to actually re retitle it. So I'm XRG. Hi, nice to meet you. This is uh, Gary Chris's One the Pacific. Ah. Uh, Playing the Operation Downfall scenario. But what I'm going to do here then is just show you guys what the actual grand campaign looks like. And just so you can kind of get an idea. Oh, so this is the one. So this is the normal campaign that people would play the full campaign. Uh, we do have a Hako Ichio. Uh, Ikio. 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 I'm going to have to learn how to pronounce that properly. <laughs> uh, but this one is the grand campaign, but you do have some awesome new stuff. So. There we go. This might be one I'd play in the future, but it's essentially you get some really, really awesome stuff. You are in a much better position. It's essentially like Japan, but better prepared for war. Still going to probably lose, but it can definitely fight harder, and it can definitely fight for longer. I don't know if the Allies get some new stuff. I think the Allies get some new stuff, but uh, the Hako Iki campaign, I'm going to have to try it. I'm going to have to try it at some point. The Ichu have. I'll have to look into pronunciation there. Uh, so yes, this is like a grand campaign. So this is what the game will look like in the grand scale. So you can see that this is, yeah, this is the game. This is the map. This is my 1920 by 1080 monitor screen. Game's huge. So this is like an alternative history, uh, essentially, scenario here. So if I take a look, uh, let's see, Zubikaku. Okay. Yeah, Shokaku. Nice. Shokaku. Ah, uh, I've seen some names here, but I wish I still had. <laughs> the Shokakus are nice, though. Let's see. Another good indication is probably land-based airframes. Let's see. Yes, in this campaign, you actually do start up significantly more AC-720s, which is nice. Yeah, just having more zeros is just fantastic. It's a shame I can't really go through here and show everything, but there's a lot of cool stuff. The game is absolutely fantastic. It really opens up so much. Well worth playing. Let's see Yamashiro and battleships over here. Haruna, ha, uh, rep. Um, yes. I wish I could go through and show so much more, but unfortunately I'm out of time. I hope you guys will look forward to playing this. I hope you guys will pick it up too. Uh, this is a turn-based game. It's absolutely amazing. If you go ahead and check out my channel on YouTube at XTRG, you can go ahead and watch more of this game. I'm playing a couple of player by emails at the moment in time, and you definitely do appreciate playing against a human opponent. Massive game. Awesome. But it is approachable, and you can learn. 
This is a game where failing is fun because you learn how to play. But there we go. That is my lot for tonight. Thank you so very much there for watching, ladies and gentlemen. It's been really great to play one of Pacific Animals Edition. I'm sure you guys... I, well, I hope you guys appreciate it as well. It's been so much fun. Until next time, thank you for watching. Thank you to Sliver for having me once again. And I shall see you guys in the future. Tenahaika Banzai. I assume in a sigh. And I shall see you guys later. Sayonara.